<laughs> I can feel the rush of excitement coming into this video review of the Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Meat Sweats action figure. Oh yeah, this one's got the spice of life when it comes to very cool characters coming from the Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon. And I can't stop talking like this, but I'm going to try. As you can tell, I'm really excited about this one. Why? Because believe it or not, this is my favorite character. Yeah. This is my favorite character coming out of the new cartoon. No offense, Raphael. But this one here just really puts the icing on the cake. No pun intended since, you know, he's a celebrity chef. Or at least he used to be. But, jeez, what a creation here. I really do like Me Sweats. And he's only been in a couple of episodes. But just something about him. His overall design, the presence, the accent. It just hits home base and I just love it. Alright, so anyway... Let's not waste any time, let's get right into this, because I'm late to the game on this, but I'm back, let's do this. So taking a look at the packaging as partake of every single video review on this channel, as you can see, we got Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, there's Meat Sweats himself, a very cool looking character, very disgusting too, look at all that, Ugh. Meat Sweats, there's the Heroes in the Half Shell right there, Nickelodeon, there's your piece of points promotion, Warning, Choking Hazard, Playmates, Toys, Ages 4 and Plus, on to the back of the packaging, and here's the brief summary of the cartoon itself, which you don't need to see, you just want to see the bio for the character, there you go, pause the viewer, read it if you want, Species, Pig Mutant, Weapon, Meat Tenderizer, looks very nice, it's got a bone, see the bone, see the bone, yeah, and as you can see, he's got a bone to pick with the heroes in a half shell, ha <laughs> ha, ha, here are the other figures available in this line, which we've pretty much gone through all of them, except for maybe just one, which we'll get to very shortly. But that's it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and open right, it up. Guys, so here's your promotional product catalog, which showcases all the action figures that come out of Series 1 of this line. And then here's your slip that if you had the code, you could go to PlaymateStories.com and redeem your piece of points, which is worth four points, I believe. Right. So, outside of that stuff, you really want to get to the figure, so, yeah, I rushed it. So, here we go. Here's a look at Meat Sweats himself. A very cool, very disgusting-looking character. It's, um, probably one of the best-looking of their representation coming from the show. I mean, this is a, this is a nice work from Playmates Toys. Uh, you know... This kind of harkens back to the original line of action figures from back in 1987 where they really made their mutant characters look so disgusting in many ways. This really does feel like that. I mean, this this is like a home run back to nostalgia. I mean, you can see he's got like warts and bumps and all this nasty looking stuff and it don't stop at the front it's also in the back here you can see part of his spine as well sticking out like that it's it's like wow they, they really want this guy to look as disgusting as possible and some of this detail isn't even on the actual cartoon design which i've got just this uh little picture here to show i mean yeah, some of it is there, but there's most of the, all this detail here that's actually not present in the actual design in the show because, I guess, animation cuts. But, um, yeah, it's also got these, like, uh, bandages here on the side, which I gotta say, you know, it, it it's okay how they did this, but I feel like maybe... They shouldn't have actually tried to put the design onto the shoulders here because the breakage there really does look pretty bad. It's long enough where it could be very convincing if they had just left this area out and just had this detail here of the bandages right on his pecs and that was it. That would have been all fine, but oh well. So let's take a look at his face here. Um, one thing that really does draw my attention is the fact that his eyes are actually bulging out like that, which is pretty accurate to, you know, the cartoon design. So nothing to really say about that. I mean, it is kind of disgusting, which again, he is a disgusting character as a whole. They painted his teeth very nice. They're yellow, in fact. Ugh, guy needs some brushing. But uh, the only area on this figure that's pretty clean, which it shouldn't be, you know, his that apron there. Now, on the prototype, it is actually a bit of a mess. As you can see right there, we got, like, possible barbecue sauce on the apron. But if I wanted to, I could take a paintbrush, maybe some brown, and just go across it, be done with it. But 
it's the principle of the thing, so I'm not going to worry about it. So, not much else to really show off here. So let's go through the articulation. He does have a swivel cut at the head. He's got a universal shoulder joint with a hinge to allow inward and outward movement this much. You do have your full 360 rotation without any hindrance. Got a swivel cut above the elbow section, which the elbow is limited because of the sculpting. You can't really get 90 degrees of bend no matter which way you move this around, but it's still enough to get something out of the guy. You do have a swivel cut at the wrist section. More detail on this in just a minute. Uh, we have a waist swivel cut, which is pretty nice. Now, here's something that I'm actually pretty proud of. If you move the apron out of the way here, you can see that the legs are executed, or should I say the hips are executed in the right direction, meaning that the figure can move this much forward, this much going back, and you don't have to rotate the hips in order to get a full JCVD split. Right. See how that works? When it works, it works. Right. Yeah, nice. Okay, so beyond that, that's your articulation. It does look like that there would be a swivel cut right here at this section of his foot. The only problem is it's glued down, as you can kind of see the glue right there. So you can't really get much more than what has been offered here in the articulation, which again, you know, it's not perfect. This isn't a perfect figure, and I will point out problems with it when there are some. But regardless, I guess it's to also help out the fact that he's so top heavy that if he did have articulated knees or maybe this section here, he may fall over pretty easily, right? So, you know, it's a catch-22, I guess. So let's go ahead and take a look at the guy's accessories now. He doesn't come with much, but he's got enough to what it is. So he's got this mutant-looking hand here which is supposed to represent his arms as they can mutate into like tentacles and uh grab a certain character from the show and absorb their energy or their powers so you can remove his hand here and you can replace it like so fits like a glove only little nitpick that I've got against this here is just they didn't put any paint on the veins here. Would have been nice if this had carried over on this additional hand, but no, it didn't. Still, pretty nasty looking, which it's supposed to be. Again, a nasty looking character should get a very nasty looking action figure. And if you wanted to, both hands are removable. As you can see, this one will come off as well, and you can attach it here, but it just wouldn't look right since this pretty much represents the thumb, right? So, anyway, let's put this back on because we got one more accessory to look at with this figure, and that is his meat tenderizer, which is unpainted. All they had to do was just paint the bone white. That's it. Just paint it white. They could have left the tenderizer bit this color, and it would look great. It really would. Still, Nicely detailed, kind of pointy as well. So let's put it in his hand, see if he can hold his weapon. That's a little bit of a loose grip, but it's certainly a lot better than the uh, Origami Ninja's weapon, or even April Nil, because it's just too thick. Too thick at the handle of the bat. She can't hold it too well, but this works pretty good. I mean, it's not going anywhere. Again, loose fitting, but not going anywhere. That's all I can really ask for. So, yeah, not much else to really say about this. What do you say we dare to compare now with some other Ninja Turtle action figures here? So we can wrap up this video review. Starting off with my boy Raphael compared to my villain boy Meat Sweats. Guess that's the best way to say it. Here's Donatello compared to Meat Sweats. Here's Michelangelo to Meat Sweats. Here is Leonardo to meet Sweats. Here's Master Splinter. Here's a look at the Origami Ninja compared to meet Sweats. Here's April O'Neil with meet Sweats. And finally, here's It 
with me sweats. Final thoughts on this figure. I love it. I really do. I'm a little disappointed that they didn't add any more leg articulation than there could have been. But I understand why they didn't do it because again this figure does have some heft to him at the top and it probably would ruin the figure. Um, I could see ways they could have you know counterbalanced it but regardless everything that you get at the top should be enough for this guy because he is kind of on the short side as well. Now saying that he does scale in pretty well with some of the turtle figures. There are other characters in this line that it does look kind of awkward. My, I, my overall thoughts and opinion on it, if you see him in stores, pick him up. He's a very cool villain to add to your collection. Not the best. <laughs> Definitely has problems. But overall, I think that this is one of the coolest figures to get out of this line so far. Playmates Toys maybe didn't nail it out of the park. But as it stands, they did get a couple of bases in on this one. So I can't wait to see what Barra Draxum's like when he's finally at the spotlight at the reviewing station so questions or comments you know do hit it down below in the comment section of the video if you like today's video review hit the thumbs up button don't forget to give me a sub up if you didn't like it hit the thumbs down don't forget to throw in the towel and until then my friends this is hasbro signing off by saying don't give up on your dreams siege the moment